Hello, hello, I'm Sean. Welcome to my Stationeers tutorial. I'm going to be making a greenhouse very quickly using just the basic starting supplies in your starting crate. Before we begin, I'll do a, just a couple notes. Uh, Stationeers is in early access, so take a look at our version date, version number. Things might be a bit different by the time you get around to watching this video. But that's okay, things change. Uh, I'll be playing with default hunger rate, uh, but it doesn't matter. We're going to be uh, making the greenhouse so fast we, don't, we won't even need to use any of the, the cereal bars. I'll be playing on Mars. There's no real difference between Mars and the Moon, especially not where my tutorial is concerned. Europa is a little different. You can see it's got pressure. It'll be, uh, it makes airlocks behave a little bit different. So I'll, I haven't actually played on Europa yet, but uh, let's just do Mars for now. I'll be moving very quickly. Uh, Get, especially at the beginning here, gonna be uh, reorganizing my inventory a bit. Don't need the mining belt. Um, let's actually get the atmosphere analyzer in her tablet. I don't need this pill. Don't need iron sheets or need the iron sheets. Don't need the tracker. Need the frames. Don't need the e-reader. Don't need the auto lathe arc furnace solid generator. Do need those iron walls. Uh, gonna want the solar panel. And I want, over in here, I want these doors. Oh, there we go. Um, feel like I'm missing something. Here we go, I want the battery. We happen to be starting with the, the sun up right now. Doesn't really matter. Put the frame, no, let's put them over here, not into the wall. Start with this three by three for the greenhouse proper. Three by three is kind of big, but it'll even, um, you'll see it actually starts getting a little bit cramped. I don't know if that's rising or setting, but we want the airlock not in line with either the sun that set or the sunrise. Uh, we, we want to make sure our plants get the most sunlight possible. There's the airlock itself, the frame. And I'll stick one more over here. I'm going to put the solar panel just to the side. Speaking of, why not just put it? there now. No, oh, because I need to weld it up first. Let's weld up the airlock to full because obviously it'll need to be pressurized. Same with the 3x3 greenhouse itself. Done. I like putting my tools right back in my tool belt while I'm done with them. Makes organizing items pretty easy, and I don't have to like scramble around like, oh, I've got too too much stuff in my hands. Don't know where to put it. Let's take the solar panel there. Later, you can put it up on the roof, but I'll just put it down here for to make it easy. And our power controllers. Stick one, uh, it's half buried, that's okay. Stick one there. I'm gonna want one of these in the airlock. I like I like separating, or I, I like putting a APCs on, in my airlocks. I'm 
you know, when you build it, you might want to have a bit more room so you can, so all your cables aren't buried. I have to wire the cables up to the end or along the side there. And then here, I'll show you later. The doors block cables aside from the very top edge. We don't need these cables just yet, but I'm putting them there for completeness. Eventually, you're going to want to stick a bench and a microwave so you're not eating raw food. It's kind of nutritional or caloric value in the game isn't of raw food isn't that great. Cook it, you get more calories, which means you get more your hunger bar fills up more. And that's the cabling all done. Speaking of doors, let's put them in now. You're going to want to use the glass doors. You could use the composite doors, and they work just fine for an airlock, except it gets really difficult to squeeze things in and out. The glass doors are a bit bigger, they're just so much better. Let's crowbar everything open. And just to demonstrate, you can show the, uh, you can stick cables through the top edge just fine, but not through the sides, not through the bottom, only the top edge and these uh, top two corners. Sometimes it's annoying because it means you have to wire something up and then down. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, that battery that I remembered. It's on, and I put it. Yeah, I put glass on the solar panel, so it's charging. There we go, pretty fast. Now that we've got the main platform built, let's start uh, bringing the stuff into it. Portable hydroponics, pretty much the most important. Otherwise, what's the point in even doing any of this? Don't need that. That was construction or er, organic supplies too. We don't need that. I don't trust that not to explode on me if I try to pick it up. Three by three has a bit of room, but you'll see it. it even then, it starts to get a bit crowded with all the things we want to stick in here. The air conditioner is just as important as the hydroponics itself. Otherwise, things will get too hot and your plants will wilt. We can use this oxygen tank to pressurize our greenhouse. You don't need to mess around with oxide or anything. And we don't actually need the air scrubber, but might as well bring it in for completeness. I'll tell you guys how you can use it later uh, to expand. Now that's that, let's get the windows up. Composite window. Our view's kind of blocked in this direction. Wow, look at all majestic. It's a hill. That's okay. You don't, you don't actually need these windows here. This could be walls, but um, it uh, costs, an iron wall costs the exact same thing. It, one of these iron wall frames and then the sheet versus this composite window. Well, you can save on glass, but we're okay on glass. Because we've got all our things in here, let's get the iron sheets up. It's sunset, but we're going to get uh, everything working before the sun rises. Let's 
see things are already kind of a little bit cramped. Don't have too many iron sheets left. Enough for a couple more, well you can't see here, a couple more iron frames and you don't have to fully weld those. Let's get the glass up. And you can see the glare of her flashlight from the sun which tells you that the glass is in. Just double checking, you don't want to lose atmosphere. And uh, next we want to set up the airlock. So we'll need the console. Active vent, sensors, don't need those iron frames, data disk we do need, don't need the sheets anymore, uh, need the airlock, don't need iron walls, and need the pipes. I don't know how you stick 20 pipes in your suit pocket, in your jacket pocket, but obviously he's found a way. So sometimes auto place bugs out, doesn't like, just point at a different wall. And there you go. Get the airlock in there. The, I stuck it there. Gas sensor we want and active end. And again, it's just moving around a bit. So we don't actually need passive vent. A lot of tutorials will have a passive vent leading to the inside and it's pretty nice and uh, no maintenance, you don't have to worry about anything else. But we're just using these pipes here as a air tank. Uh, if you want to be a bit secure you can stick a gas canister storage here and then just stick uh, a tank like one of these. Waste tank, critical. One of these kinds of tanks. Not Obviously not the one from your suit but just print off a new one and you can stick that there. And it's actually a little bit faster than, it's a bit faster filling up in the airlock from the tank than from the air vent. Just finish constructing this. And I like, uh, yeah, we don't need the air scrubber. I like sticking a little battery in the airlock. It just makes it a bit more secure because if your airlock runs out of power, then you're going to have to start wrenching, or all, it'll lock these. You can see they're they're locked. No, they're uh, they're locked because they're unpowered, not because they're with the airlock. But when once the airlock is set, you, you can't wrench, you can't uh, crowbar them open. So with the battery, it makes the airlock a little bit more secure, in that you can usually come in and out. So I haven't named anything. So how do you know which one's the interior, exterior? It's like you pick the ex it, the way I do it is you pick the exterior first, and we can see the one we picked turns red because it lock the uh, goes through and locks it, and, and that's what we want. If you say clicked on this and it didn't turn red, the other one turned red, then and you know you, you get to pick the other one. And just enable all of them: exterior, interior, the, the gas sensor, the air vent, and that'll work just fine. Cancel depressurize. It says cycle to exterior and the interior is open, so it's set up right. And uh, we, because we're on Mars, it's got enough CO2 in the air. We don't need to do waste this. Waste tank. But critical. if you're on the moon or on Europa, you just pull out your waste tank, open it up, empty it, 
And now we've got some CO2 in the air. And let's, uh, so we can breathe too, not just the plants. Let's increase the oxygen. Actually, I'll just open a little bit to make sure it's not rushing out. You can see up here, the pressure is holding steady at uh, 7 kilopascals. So there's no leaks. Good. Let's increase the oxygen. We want to get to around uh, 35 for the rest of it. 35 kilopascals. We don't need the full pressure. In real life, uh, no, not enough. In in real life, uh, pressure of partial pressure above um, 30, 40 percent oxygen is actually pretty bad for you. You start to suffer from oxygen toxicity. And strictly speaking, there we go. We I can open up the helmet, helmet. Opened. and you can see I, I'm helmet's open I'm breathing just fine and our airlocks there let's plant tomatoes instead of potatoes uh, we don't like like here's a wire eventually you want to hook this up into a microwave you can print the bench in the auto lathe and a microwave in the electronics printer These things are wilting because it's cold. Yeah, you should really check the temperature before you plant. Uh, set it to hot and just turn it on. The air conditioner will beep at you the first time you turn it on. That's because it's trying to fill its internal reservoir. You can see we've got some atmosphere in the room and atmosphere in the air conditioner. Just a tiny bit. 0.6 moles of oxygen, that's not much. Uh, if this isn't heating up fast enough for you, like I don't want my tomatoes to die, or you're on Europa where it's really cold, uh, light some road flares. Hmm. One of these is lit. There we go, I had to drop all of them but the last one. I'll light a few more of these. Road flares seem to uh, heat up the atmosphere pretty fast. Nope, actually light them. There we go. With all of these, it's heating up pretty fast. The other advantage of the APC on the inside is, well, I can replace the battery. I don't, I'm not too worried about this. We don't have any other, even though the solar panel is not angled to the sun, you can't see it from in here. Even though the solar panel is not, even though the solar panel is not angled, it'll still eventually charge up that battery and this battery. There we go. Yeah, now it's gotten a lot warmer in here. So this is great for Europa or something, if it's really cold. Helmet closed. Let's uh, throw these out, because we don't want to burn our plants. So just, oh, there's a bit of, it's kind of hard to see. The room has pressure. There's one and a half megapascals of pressure in the in just these two pipes. That's okay. They can go up to 60. If you put a gas canister storage on them, they can only go up to 10. Otherwise, the gas canister will burst. But that's a lot. These work just fine. They're like like I said, they're kind of working as a tank. So here's our tomatoes. They're a bit damaged. I, I let them get frostbitten. Actually, now it's hot, so let's set the air conditioner to cold. Um, sometimes you'll see this. You can see the temperature in, inside the air conditioner shooting up like crazy. It's kind of breaking the laws of physics. 
but the underlying law of physics that they're following is sound. You can't create or destroy energy. You can only take it from somewhere and stick it somewhere else. So it's taking the heat from this room and compressing it and sticking it in its tiny little reservoir. And because it is such a small reservoir, some heat divided by a tiny amount equals a huge temperature. Tomatoes are almost done. Like I said, I'd, I'd rather eat a raw tomato than a raw potato. That sounds kind of gross. Uh, in the game, uh, tomato, raw tomatoes have a slightly higher caloric value. They'll fill you up. They'll fill up your hunger meter a little bit more than eating raw potatoes. But once you get a, a microwave, you can eat whatever you want. And when you're when you want to graduate to a, a different hydroponic setup, you can make the hydroponics uh, units in a hydraulic pipe bender and lay them down across the ground. Uh, you don't actually need to mess around with ice or something. You can you, you can just uh, like like, it, like the gas canister storage I told you to put there. You can stick one for your uh, hydroponics on the ground and just take this water canister, drop it in there, and that's enough water for now. If you need more water, you can always use this portable air scrubber. Uh, find the, uh, the uh, I forget exactly what it's called, but you also print it in the hydraulic pipe bender. Then you can wrench down the portable air scrubber. It's the same thing you use to wrench down a portable tank. You can wrench down the portable air scrubber, stick a, a water filter in here. You get a water filter in your starting supplies and then just drop some ice in the ground and turn this on and it'll fill up your hydroponics. And that's pretty much it. I don't want to bore you guys too much. But the tomatoes will be made. You can, once you're done, where did I put them? Oh, in here. Once you're done, you eat it, you hold right click, you can eat, eat a raw tomato. In a real game, I wouldn't eat my last seed, just in case something goes wrong. But this is the tutorial. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm Sean. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. I'll catch you guys.